I'd like to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wild Watson Outdoors. I'm your host, Wild Watson, and today we're going to join my friends from Pack and Paddle and of the Cast and Cajun crew, and we're going to go down to Puerto Shan, Louisiana, where them reds are hopping. Tradition is the mission. Tradition mission and la mission. Wild Watson Outdoors. So whenever I made it down to Thibodeau, I met up with Tony, and he led me the rest of the way to go meet up with the guys from Pack and Paddle, Mr. John Williams and Scott. Well, it didn't take too long. We ended up getting there, made it down to uh Point Shan in the area where we put in. This was an area that John is already familiar with and he guided us and toured us through. What's up y'all, it's your boy Wild Watson. I'm with the Pack and Paddle crew and the Cast and Cajun crew. We're out here in Plano Shan, Louisiana. This is the real deal y'all, brackish water. I got up at about 2.30 this morning and drove down to meet them. Uh, we're down here with John and Tony and them. We're gonna get out in the water. We got Scott, we got all the kayaks. We're about to get in the water y'all. Try to catch a bunch of trout and some redfish. we did was follow John and follow Scotty and they pretty much gave us the good um, suggestions on where to fish if they saw any bait fish action any bait fish jumping around or anything we cast there I finally hooked on to something y'all and I was whoa I must say this was the biggest red I've ever caught from a small watercraft such as a kayak or pirogue I couldn't believe it I think it spin me around in circles and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, I forgot. I have the power pole. So Tony has situated the power pole uh, remotes on these little necklaces that you put around your neck. So that made it very convenient. Pushed it down. Zoop. Went down into the mud, down underwater. And it kept me, I was more anchored than I've ever been using two separate anchors on a kayak or pirogue. Y'all, this is a big old redfish. Only in South Louisiana, y'all. Fishing with casting Cajun, y'all. Look at this right here. Oh, my God.
That's red fish candy. Just in case y'all want to sponsor me. That's the old Huckleberry Finn way. <laughs> All right, pretty boy. We put him back in the water. That day worked out pretty well. I honestly think, y'all, that we would have caught way more fish than what we did. But that storm had to come in, that big old mean, bully, nasty, mean storm. And let me tell you, it was time to go, y'all. But we still had a good time overall. And there will be many times in the future. So hopefully, y'all can be there to join us. Thank you. So uh, right now I'm over here packing and paddle. This is where I like to come to get all the gear and everything that I use to get out and fish and stuff. So look right here. They got a big selection of jig heads and different jigs. Matrix Shad though is my favorite thing to use, especially whenever I'm fishing out in the marshes. And my favorite bait right here, the Matrix Shad. This right here is the tiger bait, my favorite. I've had the most success with trout and reds on this. Right here packing and paddle, that's what I get it. Down here in Thibodeau, Louisiana with my buddy Tony Fontenot from Cast and Cajun. Uh, we over here at this place at uh, Cajun Home Improvements getting a boat about to head out on the water near an oil rig and try to catch us some big old reds. What they say about the fish in the sea There's plenty and we bag them like trawlers Pull up the catch Back to the shack as they wriggle in the net Brim haulers, ballers Casting the line when the tide's up And a fly ball Bag in the corner Spit a bit of game with the rainbow trout In a minute I can fill the first snag on the board Hey little fishy, would you take a drink with me? We can roll back to the lair And you may get filled in More than just a little bit And now I got a gasping for air Back in the rare aquatic specimen Rest of them get spared Yeah, salmon Slayers ain't players, but we mack a lot Maybe take a ride in my tackle box See, we catch them and release them While we travel downstream We overfishing like the Japanese Believe we all breathe If you're casting with the rusty rod That will be the chase But if you know that you're an angler Then it soon will bite the bait And I'm talking about you And you And you Gone fishing And you And you Fly fishing Dig a tail of the soul swash buckling You and the mates on deck will start chuckling Set sail, we'll equip for the hunt And it's one of those days where the crew hauls tons in something, something Yeah, y'all, we right here with my good buddy Tony Fontenot, known as the one and only casting Cajun, y'all We out here at Raccoon Island Just south of Du Large We're catching a bunch of gaff top catfish Now, a lot of people see this as not good eating A pas bon manger Oh, they really good Oh, that's one Down in South Look at that, look at that I hooked a pogey Oh, man, that's You hooked me up pogey, huh? <laughs> I'm a piece of I got like the Japanese, we all green. If you're casting with the rusty raw, that will be the chase. If you know that you're an angler, then they soon will bite the bait. And I'm talking about you, and you, and you. Go on fishing.
Is the biggest I call that. <laughs> she they fit. So um we got three catfish and we got one trout in here. Alright, and I'll throw that pogey away tomorrow. Oh, you gotta throw him away? Yeah, I don't think that's good to eat. They make perfume out of that, and they make dog food out of it, because cat food. That's it's right. perfume? Yeah. Hey, pogies, yeah. They make perfume, that's why perfume stinks. Wow. Oh. Shit stinks. 